Yeah. Lesson number seven of this fantastic Lucky Unit 13. We'll be looking at volumes of pyramids and cones. Aha! Notice it does not say right pyramids and right cones. The word right is not needed. Just like when we did the prisms and cylinders. Volume is a little more friendly to work with as opposed to our other good friend's surface area. Notice uh, that for the pyramid, very similar to the prism. Of course, with the prism, the volume was area of the base times the height. Notice with the pyramid, it's exactly one third of the area of base times the height. Again, it does not matter if it's a right pyramid, oblique pyramid, it'll work just fine. Now, when we get to the cone, again, the cone is quite similar to what the cylinder was. Instead of area of the base times the height, it's exactly one third times the area of the base times the height. Right. Again, the capital B is being used for the area of the base, and then the lowercase h for the height. And surprise, surprise, they are the same equation. Volume is one-third times the area of the base times the height. So this is going to be a short and sweet PowerPoint today. Let's do a couple of examples. Here's a nice little pyramid. Hey, it's a triangular pyramid. Look at that crazy base on that triangle. On that pyramid, rather. <laughs> the base of the pyramid is a triangle. Is this crazy or what? So again, I know that the base, because it's a triangle, I need one half base times height. Now, the lowercase b, of course, refers to the base of the triangle in other words just that four meters and then the h for the height of the triangle which is six meters all right so i got to figure out the area of the base and the triangle of course has its own base and height and i get 12. of course i could have done six times four is 24 and then half of 24 get me 12. Instead, I decided to do half times 4 to get 2. And then multiply by 6. Nice thing about multiplication is it's commutative and it's associative. So if you've got three numbers being multiplied together, you can basically go any order you want. As long as there's no other operations in there, right? Just multiplication. So volume, one-third area of the base times the height. Now, Ken, that's a capital B, so I'm not talking about the base of the triangle, right? I'm talking about the area of the base of the pyramid. So we'll use the value of 12 that we just found a moment ago. And now, again, this time that H for height refers to the height of the pyramid, not the height of the triangle. So I'm going to use that 9. Third of 12 is 4. 9 times 4 is 36. And again, when I get to a point where I've got a solution, I want to make sure that I put my label. Volume, of course, is cubic units. So we'll say it was cubic meters. Hey, there's a cone for the next example. Of course, the base for a cone is a little bit different. It's a circle. So for the base... I have to go pi r squared. 2.2 quantity squared. Most of us would probably grab a calculator at this point. 2.2 times 2.2 is 4.84. Of course, for the volume of the cone, one third times the area of the base times the height. Area of the base was 4.84 pi. The height is 4.5. Now, again, multiplication is commutative. And I figured, hey, 
I can do one third of 4.5 really easy. That'll be 1.5. But now I'm still going to result to using a calculator. 1.5 times 4.84. So I've got 7.26 pi cubic centimeters, which is an exact answer, and sometimes we'll want an exact answer. Sometimes we want a, an approximation. And so I'll say 22.81 cubic centimeters, right? If the directions do not indicate, you may put the exact answer if you want. You may round it off to, to a decimal approximation if you want. So again, I hope you found this to be pretty straightforward. Got a wonderful little worksheet. And then the IXL ties in perfectly, volume of pyramids and cones.